Hi guys, Popmaster here, and today I'm going to be showing off my top 10 pops of 2018. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this was a big year for Funko and just me in general because 2018 was my first full calendar year, like January to December that I was collecting. And there, there was a record number of Funko products released according to them, which I'm pretty sure is true because there's a lot of new stuff that came out. And I kind of want to start with some highs and lows sort of reflecting on that because I... I was going to make that its own video, but I just wanted to do it with this video with the top 10. And probably a couple lows would be probably towards one low I can always remember is the beginning of the year when um, I was coming back from a golf tournament with my dad and we were going to stop at my local Hot Topic. And that was right when the Dustin and Dart pop was coming out and I really wanted it, but I missed the first time they, it came out. So Really, when we were like 20 minutes away, I saw a post on their Instagram saying, oh, we got we got more in, basically. So we went, we go there as fast as we can. I run in there, and I get there, and they're out of stock. So that was just really disappointing to me. Probably one of my lowlights and made me really sad. And I know it's just a pop and stuff, but I was really excited. I was all, I was about to get it because it was like a Stranger Things Hot Topic pop, which I was, I was not able to find before. I have a couple now, but... Then that was one of my first one, but I didn't get it, so that's probably low light. And another low light would probably be missing out on the Toucan Sam and the um, Serial Monsters ad icons. Both of those drops, I was kind of ready for it. Actually, Toucan Sam wasn't, but I saw it. Okay, it's live. I wanted to get it, and just, the website wouldn't load. I know a lot of people had that issue, but I was just really upset about that. And the Serial Monsters, I was stuck in the queue for a long time. And then as I was typing in my information, it sold out, so that's just really frustrating for me. On I. I didn't get, yeah, basically I didn't get my first ad icon from the Funko Shop till fairly recently with Buzz B, which unboxing should be up or is going to be up soon. Anyway, yeah, on to some more positive stuff. Um, definitely, um, I'd say the amount of success on the Funko Shop would probably be a huge thing. Um, I got, a, towards the end of the year, I started getting some more of the good drops, like Buzz B, for example. That was a good one I was able to get, and... Another big, another really awesome thing to happen this year for me was going to visiting Funko HQ. Unfortunately, that was before I started really start. I started this before I started this channel, like actually uploading. But that was just a really fun experience. I really wish I recorded it, but I have a pop from there that I'll actually. It's going to be in the top ten, by the way. But yeah, I made. I actually made my own pop from there, and I got some other stuff, and it was, it was just a really fun experience. They had they had so much stuff there, and yeah, it was really fun going there, but. Oh, also, yeah, another uh, last probably good thing I can mention is probably finding the Target ad icons in the store. Because that was just really fun. I was just, you know, I didn't expect to find them, but I just got super lucky and was able to find them. It's probably the first, I think that was actually the first time I actually found a sort of high demand Target item. Because that tar the Target I go to usually before that wasn't wasn't too good with stocking exclusive ones. But yeah, fortunately I was able to get that. I was just, I was so excited. But anyways, guys, let's just start with the top 10. Alright guys, at my number 10 spot, we have one that I picked up from Hot Topic a couple months ago. Actually, maybe more recently than that. It's actually on Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday, so a couple months ago. This is a, a pop that's based off one of their employees. Um, I was really excited when I heard about it. I thought I was going to sell out, but when I got to my store, I actually got the last one available. And here it is here, guys. It is Hot Topic Girl. So, this is a really cool one. I love the detail in the hair and they did and the arms right there. They did a great job with her tattoos and... Yeah, this is a special edition Hot Topic one. The box is really cool on this one. It showed pictures of her on the back. I wish I had the box with me, but I don't. Yeah, um, I love the how it looks. It had the pink dress. It was really well with the hair, and then they did the eyelash stuff there. Um, the people on my Hot Topic don't, <laughs> don't look too similar to this one, but I, I do. I, it obviously, it is a real person, so. I thought that was really cool they made it. I hope I can get the Hot Topic guy in the future, because that would be a really cool one to have in my collection. But yeah, I feel like it's really cool that I was able to get like some of the um, pops that um, th that they have store employees for, like this one and like the Target Lady as well that I mentioned in a previous video. So yeah, this is my number ten. Let's go on to number nine. You can call me Joker, and as you can see, I'm a lot happier. All right, guys. At my number nine spot, we have a, a movie moment. It is a GameStop exclusive, and it is the Joker Hush. So this one I actually did a full on review on, and um, you can check. I'll put a thing up there so you guys can check it out. It's one of my actually one of my more popular videos on the channel. But yeah, this is from this is a Joker Hush from GameStop, as I just mentioned. It is from the Hush comic book series, and 
I think this pop was designed by Jim Lee. That it's like a whole Jim Lee collection at GameStop, as you can see by that little insignia there. Um, this is a really cool one. I have not read the comic, but I just when I saw this, I loved the detail in it because I'm I'm wanting to get a couple more DC ones because I like some of the characters. And when I saw this Joker moment, I had to get it. They do have a black and white one in this, but I don't like that one as much just because it's not as much color and detail and whatever. And I just I love the smile on his face, uh, the way he's sort of standing on the um the like the bricks and the tires there. They did a great job with that. And if yeah, I don't, it's a little bright, but. Yeah, you guys can see there's a little puddle there and some tools and yeah, again, I like his position. His I like his how his hands are out and it has a big old smile right there. And then a great job with the eye paint right there, sort of making him look more sinister, I guess. And the curled eyebrows and then the two little pieces of hair here to sort of show that he's been, I guess, roughed up a bit. And I like how in the back here there's two like how there's sort of the two tufts of hair in the back here, both kind of sticking up. But yeah, this is just a really detailed one, and for that reason, it's on my number 9 spot, and yeah, let's go on to number 8. Alright guys, on my number 8 spot for the year, we have an another sort of movie moment thing. I got this one on Black Friday at Target for 25 bucks, pretty good deal. If you've seen my Black Friday hunt, you'll probably know what it is, and... It is a Stranger Things movie moment with Eleven and Demogorgon here. This one was really cool. When I first saw the image of this thing at Fun Days 2018, I was really excited about it. And then when I finally saw it in store, I, I was like, okay, I have to get it. And this is from the scene in Stranger Things Season 1 at the end where Eleven sort of kills the Demogorgon at the school. And they had a lot of awesome details with it. Like, for example, you can look on the side here. You can see the floor and the sort of, I guess, asphalt underneath. And... There's an electric. There's an electric thing going along the side, and I, I like how the Demogorgon's really crushed against the wall. The um the pedals on his well, not pedals but things right here kind of curled at least come them a couple of them up here, and there are some dents in the wall where she's sort of pushing him there, and then Demogorgon's hands out like this, and his feet are raised up above the ground. Really cool. Um, I also like how they have the clock up here, and it actually shows that it is um like ten o'clock at night, which makes sense because it, it's um in the show they're at the school late at night when this happens and i thought that was a really um neat detail they put in there there's also a loudspeaker right there too really cool and um i'll try to i don't know i can't I wish i could turn her head but i can't but you guys can see eleven's eyes are just really i guess uh, she's seeing the full extent of her powers here like both eyes have these little black things on them um she's bleeding in her ears and her nose i can't really see the nose too well but yeah she trust me she is but yeah, this is just a really iconic scene, and I love, again, I love the detail in it. So that's why I put it in number eight, so it's going on number seven. You want to make that move? You made that move, okay. I guess I'll have to destroy that little guy. Somehow I never get bored with winning. No, you can't wipe them off, they're holograms. All right, guys, I'm in number seven spot. We have one from the new Star Wars Christmas Wave. My first Star Wars one on, the, on this list, but there is a couple more coming up, don't worry. But here it is here. It is um, Christmas Chewbacca. And I, I kind of wanted to put a Christmas one on this list because for all the Star Wars ones, I really love all the Christmas pops that, that came out. But this one kind of stand out to me because all the other ones, it's kind of like, I mean, I, I like the C-3PO and the Yoda Santa ones, but those are kind of like the same thing. And then the R2-D2 Antlers one isn't too different. Same with the Darth Vader with the Candy Cane lightsaber. But this one really stood out because they kind of, they, um, the Wookiee hair on him is really detailed, and he um, he has a new has a, has a good facial expression, and it's kind of it kind of goes well with his character because there's times where he gets like stuck and stuff like Chewbacca does, and he gets really angry, and I kind of like how they um like they took that and sort of impatient you know impatient part of his character and made it into like, connected with Christmas stuff like he's stuck in the Christmas lights, which I found really funny and. They did a great job with the wiring and the paint on the lights here. There's it, It's just all over his body. and they did, I feel like they did a really good job integrating that with the fur on him. And the fur is really detailed. It's nice and textured. And it's going to kind of... I, it was just really cute when I saw it. And I kind of had to get it. So I just loved it. So, yeah. I just... Just because I love it so much, I had to put it at my number seven spot. Yeah, so that's my number seven spot. Let's go on to number six. Alright, so at my number six spot, we have one from the pop in this line that might give you a hint about what it is, because they've only made one character for it. And 
here it is here guys it is the um, Funko Shop Bigfoot with um, marshmallow stick and the reason I put this one so high on my list is because first of all it's not flocked because all the other Bigfoots have been flocked and even though flock pops are cool I kind of like have them not flocked so I can take them out of box and sort of hold them and stuff without ruining the flocking material on it but yeah here he is here he's holding a little marshmallow with the whole flame on top this flame is actually glow in the dark, so when you see the glow in the dark stick on the box, it's only for this, not for any part of the rest of his body, which, which kind of sucks, but anyway. Um, I was really excited when I was able to get this one because um, all the the other three Bigfoots, which is um, the green and, like, the this this one flocked, um, the green and blue one, uh, and the white one with the snow cone were all exclusive to, like, different conventions and stuff, and they're in really high demand, so I wasn't able to get this one, get them at all. I mean, I, was, I really wanted those ones, but they're just super expensive, so I just, I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to get it. But when I saw this one, I, I actually had to get this one second market, but I got it for a good deal. I got it for a retail price, which is really cool. But yeah, I just really like it. They, I love how they did his face here with the two little teeth poking out and sort of, like a sort of mellow expression here. And I like how they put um, his feet sort of in a walking position and arm back, you know, one arm back, one arm forward. And... I'm not sure exactly in the, his, the whole mythology of this character where when he's holding like a marshmallow stick and this thing here and like the, on fire and stuff, but I thought it was really cool and I was just super excited to get a Bigfoot pop. I also like the texture of these, um, his little, I guess, forehead wrinkles here. If you guys can see that, it's really cool in my opinion. Yeah, and they, they, again, like the Chewbacca, they did a great job on the hair in the back, so... Yeah, just because I was just really excited to get this one. It's a Bigfoot pop. I had to put it on a pretty uh, high spot in number six. So that's my number six spot. Let's go on to number five. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. All right. At my number five spot, we have another. This is another Star Wars one here. And this is from a recent Smuggler's Bounty Box I opened up on the channel. Um, if you want to check that one out, go ahead. But, uh, this, yeah, this is a movie moment from the Cloud City box. Um, I didn't even know this was coming in the box, so I was really excited to see it. And I was waiting for it for a long time when I saw it. I just really want this. Yeah, and here it is here. It is Boba Gets His Bounty, the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive movie moment. This is a really cool one. And I just love it because it depicts such an iconic scene in the movie when, like, Han Solo's in Carbonite here, and then Boba gets to take him away for money and stuff. No, I, th I just thought that was a really cool thing to make, and even though there wasn't too much other stuff in that box, it just, it's just kind of worth it for this one. And they did a great job putting Han Solo in the carbonite here. They did a, they, um, they sort of pushed this pop up here, and great job with the hair and just body, body pose in general, and even some of it's kind of filled in here. And they even put some stuff on the side here, which is really cool. And you kind of see Boba just looking over him here, and. Yeah, this is another great Boba from Funko. They did I like the other one that came in the Smuggler's Bounty Box where he's flying. I do have that one as well. And I just, he, they did a great job putting his helmet and his body and weapon in general. And I love how they included the um, actual like, floor style, the gray and the orange like, thingies here from the um, from the like the the carbon the carbonite room. Basically, I love how they included that. The only thing it would change is that I would make this ele this thing elevated because in the movie he's elevated, he's not just on the ground. They could have put some of those clear pegs in there and show that. But other than that, it's really cool. I love this one so much. Um, and that's my number five, so let's go on to my number four spot. Uh. Alright, so my number four spot, we have one that... Um, Came out in a fair, the um, a Stranger Things wave, not the, the one that's out now, but the one before that came out, I think May or June or something like that. And I was really excited to get this one because this, this was my first ever Hot Topic exclusive Stranger Things pop. I was really happy to find it, and here it is here. It is Steve with Bandana, Hot Topic exclusive, really cool pop. And ever since I first saw a picture of this one, I wanted it just because the detail on it is really good. It's um, I love how they, the the um, goggles on him look really good. Same thing with the bandana, and I love the overall muteness of his clothes that they they um, the colors they chose because he's in the, he's in the upside down this scene because you know I like how his skin's white, and there's a little like you know the flakes in the upside upside down that they have there. I really like those and you know, um. 
Yeah, they have another pop that looks similar like this, but in sort of regular color. But I'm happy they made this one in the upside down because it's different ones. Different, sorry, different colors, I mean. And they did include the bat on the back here. Really cool. This was the first Steve I ever got because I missed out on the one from SCCC um, 2017, which is really rare now. Yeah, since this is, this one this one was really detailed, it's um, a Hot Topic exclusive Stringer Things pop first one I ever got. I have to put it at my number five, four spot, so let's move on to number three. <laughs> Alright guys, on the number three spot we have one from Star Wars The Clone Wars. It is, um, it came out after, so the cl first Clone Wars wave came out in August and I, this character, I feel like this character was kind of missing from it. They already had made, they came out with Cad Bane before and um, I really wanted to see this guy, this character here as a pop. And I did it for NYCC and I have it here. And this is the NYCC exclusive Captain Rex. So, I this is from the Star Wars The Clone Wars television show, again. And I love that show so much, and he was just a really cool character in it. I, he had a great personality and stuff, and he really sort of like showed like bravery and stuff. And I don't know, but really cool. Um, this is kind of a different clone trooper mold because they, I feel like they kind of squished the helmet a little bit, like like down this way and this way. So it's, it looks a little different, but the markings on here are really good uh, with the whole helmet here. And they also did some up here, like I guess that's his kill count or something like that. And they did a great job text with the armor here, showing the little black, black bits underneath with the armor. And they gave him his dual pistols, which looks really cool. And I just love the armor with the blue and black accents. It's a, it's really accurate to how he looks in the show. Yeah, it's also one of my favorite characters. So and just because of that, and just because how detailed he is, and how he's one of my favorite characters in Star Wars, I have to put it on my number three spot. So let's go on number two. All right, guys, on my number two spot, we actually have a really special one. And this is actually not from a store, but I actually made this one myself at Funko HQ. I actually mentioned that earlier in this video. And here he is here, guys. It is, so sorry, I give you background, my bad. Um, at, at, a, at Funko HQ for $15, you can go through a line and build your own uh, Funko Pop, uh, right, Freddy Funko Pop. You basically choose you have a Freddy Funko head, and then you have to make everything else with it. And I wanted to get, I wanted a sheriff and a superhero with my, my pop. So I kind of combined it into one here, and here he is here. It, I, I'm, I'm going to call him Superhero Sheriff Freddy. And, and he had a couple other accessories, but they they got lost. I'm not sure really where they are. He had a pop sign in this hand, and then he had a drumstick in this hand for the ride. And they gave me this special box with him that I don't know what happened to it, but I'll have to find it sometime. Here he is here. He has, um, you can see there's a little F right there. If you can see that here, he's wearing a sheriff's outfit with black boots. But then on the back, he has a blue superhero's cape and a blue superhero's goggles, which I thought was really cool. And I think I might have given him a hat as well. I kind of forgot. But it was just really cool to get this. It was something I could remember that trip by, and I was just really excited when I was able to do it. But yeah, here is um, my own custom Freddy Funko Pop. And this piece was so special, I had to put it at number two. So let's go on to number one. Honey, for the honey nut Cheerios. Oh, no. We got to get it back. Buzz. He won't interrupt my delicious breakfast. Buzz off, Buzz. All right, guys. At number one, you probably have to be wondering what could beat that one just because um, it was, I got it on a, a, at the HQ. But this one I kind of felt I had to put higher up because this is the first ever ad icon I actually got from the Funko shop because all the other ones I either missed a drop or they sold out. So this piece, I got a lot of satisfaction from getting this, and this is a character I'm actually kind of familiar with, unlike some of the other ad icons that I actually, um, I really wanted this one a lot more than some of the other ones as well. I've seen him a lot, and here he is here. It is Buzz B from the Funko Shop. Um, yeah, here he is here, and I, I just love this one so much because in the um, commercials that he was in, he was just always a really funny character, and... I love I love how they did the um, design. This one looks really good. I like the the um, smile on his face and these little tentacles up here look really cool. Or and the wings look really cool. I like how they did sort of the new textures and his white shoes look really cool as well. And I like how they did the honey stick with the honey dripping off. So because he's from Honey Ant Cheerios, if you guys didn't know. But I just love this one so much and just because of the satisfaction of getting it, I had to put it at my number one spot for 2018. 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So today I went over my some of my, I guess, experiences, um, like best experiences and worst experience of collecting over 2018. And, you know, my top, for my top 10, I had, like, um, all the pops I had, the Joker Hush, Chewbacca, um, 11, Demogorgon Movie Moment, Big Bigfoot, Boba Gets His Bounty, um, Custom Freddy Funko, Steve, Rex, and Busby. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, I just, um, this has been a, another episode of Popmaster and me showing my top 10 pops of 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.